Hi, this is Yvonne, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to increase your personal productivity. You're gonna learn a few techniques that are really gonna help you boost your ability to stay focused and get more done. You see, highly successful people are very productive and earn more money because of it. I was frustrated in the beginning because I never seemed to have enough time to get everything that I wanted to get done. But once I changed my approach, I started to get more productive. And so um, there are a few techniques through all of the books and seminars and, and um, just coaching that I had throughout the years that actually worked for me that I'd love to share them with you. You first want to focus on what is most important. And so that's where the Pareto Principle or what's most commonly known as the 80-20 rule comes in. This allows you to kind of step back and observe and notice that there's no need to get overwhelmed with all the tasks that you have to do. All you really need to understand is it's the top 20% of any group of activity is gonna get you the most value. So the Pareto Principle little background was coined by uh, an economist, an Italian economist called Vilfredo Pareto. And he observed that 20% of the people actually had the most wealth, money, and influence. But 80% of the people did not. And so he started observing this 80-20 principle in a lot of other areas. And so it stuck. So a good example would be, if you think about your closet. Your closet has about 20% of the clothes that are in circulation that you use the most, your favorite jeans, your favorite t-shirt, your black dress, that get used quite often. And then 80% just sits in your closet. It's really just 20%. If I focus on those 20%, and just leave the rest for later, I'm gonna get more value out of it. What are the top two things that if this day is done, if I get these two things accomplished, it's a successful day. And I'm not gonna feel bad at the end of the day because I didn't finish everything. I'm just gonna feel grateful and excited that I actually was able to accomplish those two things. What are those two things? And if you start approaching your day that way, oof, you, you don't begin your day with loss of energy. And I, sometimes I think that we lose energy because we're just so overwhelmed. And that sense of overwhelm creates that sense of exhaustion and tiredness. So get excited because you've lightened the load. It just, and you feel lighter uh, when you do that and when you think of everything that way. And only when you complete that, then you start thinking, okay, the next day, what are the two things? Uh, so on and so forth. And so it's not that you stop adding to the list or that list doesn't grow or stay stagnant. It's that you're able to tackle things and actually get a lot more results that way. The better the plan you have, the easier it is for you to be more productive. And that's why I think a daily plan is so important. You see, if you have the discipline of systematic time planning, that's really going to help you uh, to develop a habit of being more productive and being in the flow because it just becomes a second nature. And so as a beginner, for me, what worked for me was just getting into the habit of writing things down. And so I was one of the, those people that felt that, okay, I have it all in my head and I have a lot of things in my head swirling. And so sometimes I would forget or sometimes I would prioritize things or do things just because I had remembered it. But if I had actually written it down and seen everything I needed to get done, I would have reorganized it differently. I would have maybe removed a few items that are no longer relevant, uh, that were weighing me down uh, because I felt that I had to do it. And so just the art of creating that space 
to write down my plan really made a difference for me on a day-to-day -day basis because I was able to assess, okay, does this even make sense? And it helps relieve the stress of just having all of these things swirling in your head. For the intermediate, or once I got a habit into writing it down, um, then I went through the process of, okay, um, why don't I write down my plan the night before? And so this was really helpful because and it was a huge game changer because what it does is it helps you sleep on it. And when you sleep on it, what that means is it allows your subconscious mind to reorganize your plan, to do all of that assessment for you, to be more creative, and you'll develop insights that you otherwise would not have been able to do. You know, when you wake up with a fresh mind, having slept on it, now you're like, oh gosh, you know, if I um, change a few things, I can actually get this done faster. And so you'll, you'll realize that you think more clearly and more creatively once you've had an opportunity to sleep on it. So I definitely encourage those intermediate folks out there um, that actually do have a plan and write it down on a daily basis, uh, challenge you to write it the night before and see how that can serve you because it sure helped me. Now, for those advanced people out there, um, I will say that um, in my journey, I realized that the most effective way and plan was the daily plan that's connected to and linked to a higher purpose. And that is driven by a long-term plan. So, for example, um, at the end of the year, I would take some time and write down, okay, what are my, what is my plan? What are my goals for the following year? And so for those years that I actually had an annual plan, I realized I was a lot more productive. And so that annual plan, I would break it down into a monthly plan across the year. So these are the key things that I'm going to achieve every month. And then a weekly plan to go along with that and a daily plan that connected to it. So it was almost like um, a puzzle that I would put together, but ultimately that, that allowed my day to have so much more value and weight that I would not let anything affect that day. I wouldn't let anyone else's agenda drive my day. One. Two, it helped me set better boundaries. I was very clear with what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And it was a lot easier for me to say no to other things that didn't fit and align with my values and the activities that are gonna help me get there. Okay, so I got protective of my daily plan when I did that. You know, a lack of focus creates a lot of wasted time and confusion and so staying focused really becomes the key to increased and higher productivity levels and i have found that people really shift their direction all too often and because all of these shifts are occurring um, with notifications with other people wanting some of our time for for other things that really affects our ability to focus on one thing all the way through to completion and getting the results we need. And so I found that two techniques that helped me with this whole staying focused thing. And the first is learn to say no. And uh, there's an art and a skill to saying no, especially because we're saying no to families, our friends, our uh, workmates, and people that we're close to. So saying no becomes a skill because the people that are asking us for our time 
are people that feel comfortable enough to ask for it. And so they're going to be the people closest to us. So you're going to want to get comfortable with that because that will lighten your load and give you the space to be able to complete what you've set out to, to do. And so it's really something that you have to teach yourself and have that discipline and set those boundaries so that you can protect your time, protect your day so that it doesn't get bombarded with other people's agenda and what other people need you to do. And so the second technique to staying focused is turning off your notification. That phone has become such an addiction. People have a hard time with setting boundaries on that cell phone, whether it's setting boundaries with notifications on calls, texts, and uh, social media. Those things are terribly distracting. And if, if you're anyone that wants to get anything achieved in your lifetime, You've got to set that boundary and uh, turn those notifications off and give yourself a space, maybe uh, one day in the week or at the end of the day, just a few minutes, really fence off that time for social media and put it in its place. That is not the priority for those of us that want to be highly productive and stop getting hassled and harassed by that little cell phone that's turning into a bully of your time. And so really, um, this is, this is actually, I think the, I'm not hearing this online very much and that's actually pretty scary. Um, so let me be the first, if you haven't heard it, to tell you that it's okay to turn off that, not that notification. How have generations upon generations of people survived without cell phones? They've done very well. That's why you're here. You wouldn't be here if, if they hadn't done a great job in surviving uh, without a cell phone. And so you can too. We can too. And we can um, really reconnect with what's most important. And that's uh, what's important and valuable to you. And that's setting those priorities and staying focused uh, on your, on your, um, on your life. So in conclusion, if we focus on our top priorities using that 80, 20 rule, if we have a daily plan, so we know exactly what we want to do, we stay focused on what's most important, setting up boundaries along the way to protect them. And we have that long-term thinking, so everything that we do lines up to a greater purpose so that we stay focused and motivated and highly productive, then that's really, really going to serve you and me, all of us, to increase our personal productivity. And speaking of personal productivity, I have a goal creation workbook that I put together just for you so that you can really um, step back, evaluate, assess, outline your goals, align with your vision and your mission. And I'll walk you through uh, all of that so that you can come up with a comprehensive goal and a strategy to achieve it. Click on the link below so that you can get your free copy. And also consider subscribing so that you can be notified uh, new videos as they come up for leadership, personal development, and so much more.